Hey guys, what's up? This is Bevan from Rational Awareness. And I want to clarify this practice of continual breath awareness. I just want to basically explain what I mean by being aware of the breath as you go about your day-to-day -day activities. So I think when people think of breath awareness, and especially when they try it out, they uh, might think it's conscious breathing, you know, consciously taking deep breaths. And if you've, you know, read about meditation, you'll know that that's not really what it's supposed to be. Breath awareness is simply monitoring your breath just being aware of the sensations in your body as you breathe, not controlling your breath necessarily. Can you control your breath and, and will that help you attain presence? I think it can be used, especially when you're starting out, to kind of remind you to be on your breath, but that soon will not be a very uh, useful practice. It will sort of lose its efficacy as will any mental tool or any physical tool you use to uh, learn presence. For example, counting your breaths can be very helpful at first, but will lose its effectiveness. Anyway, the core is just being aware of your breath, putting your focus just on those sensations in your nose, in your mouth, if you're a mouth breather, <laughs> in your chest, in your stomach as you breathe, or anywhere else you might feel them. And it does help over time to kind of mix up where you put your awareness, I found. Some people also say to narrow your awareness as much as possible, such as in the triangle directly beneath your nostrils. I found that that's very helpful in a formal meditation setting. But in a more dynamic day-to-day -day setting, as with continual breath awareness, I tend to, uh, I find it most helpful to be in my, as wide of a part of, the, as of my body as possible. So I try to focus on the entire sensation of the breath throughout my body, everywhere I feel it. So that's it. You know, just monitor your breaths throughout the day. And uh, yeah, very simple. <laughs> so that's all I want to talk about for now. I'll be doing more videos in the near future about how to get started with this practice and some tools and tricks that can help you stay on the breath throughout the day, especially when you're first getting started. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and also please share this with people who you think might be interested. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.